every morning in the wild, a gazelle awakens. One thing is for sure for the gazelle that day, as every other, she must run faster than the fastest lion. If she cannot, she will be killed and eaten. Every morning, a lion awakens. For the lion too, one thing is certain. This day and every day, he must run faster than the slowest gazelle. Whether fate leaves you a gazelle or a lion is of no consequence. It is enough to know that with the rising of the sun, you must run, and you must run faster than the day before for the rest of your days, or you will die. We all have to run. Run the race of life. The need for speed is second nature to a very special group of animals. Every organ, every muscle, every bone is designed for a life in the fast lane. Some of these animals are hunters, others are the hunted. Their supreme athletic ability is what keeps them alive every day. Many move in vast numbers, a sea of speeding bodies. Some supreme sprinters are birds, what they have lost in their wings, they make up for with their incredible legs and amazing endurance. Not all athletes of the animal world are large. One eight-legged high-speed mover is more like a racing car than a spider. Some creatures roll, some run, but one of the best of them all bounces with strong muscles and strong legs. The leap is the most effective means to cover ground quickly. From big cats to antelope, from big birds to spiders. This is a high octane fight to survive. The race of life for some is literally a race. To stay alive, they have to run the fastest. They have to keep running for the longest. And they must have some extra tricks. They must do it every day, many times a day, just to stay alive. And the best place for running is where there's lots of space. The vast savannas of Africa, the open prairies of America, and the great red deserts of Australia. Animals who have survived here have used countless generations to evolve their ability to run and run. Some have long legs, some have strong muscles, others have light bodies, or sheer force of will. The need to run has led to a huge range of sizes and shapes. But all have one thing that links them. To win their race of life, they must run like the wind. The gold medal sprinter in the race of life is way ahead of the rest. Every detail of his body is built for speed. The cheetah. These big cats live where competition for predator and prey is at its most intense. The African savanna, the greatest concentration of large animals on Earth. The herds here contain around two and a half million wildebeest, zebra, and gazelles. And this is the big cat that can outrun them all. He is slim and light with long legs built for sprinting. A lone male is hungry. He needs to eat about three kilos of food every day 
and today he has been out of luck. Then a herd of Thompson's gazelle. The cheetah needs to get very close to the gazelles before he reveals himself. Creeping through the grass in silence, the cheetah is completely focused on his target. The gazelle senses something is wrong. The cheetah has no choice. The cheetah is out and running. He can accelerate to 75 kilometers an hour in less than two seconds. Soon, he reaches a top speed of 120. The gazelle is also fast, almost as fast as the cheetah. With competitors like these, the race of life is very close. But the fastest does not win. After less than a minute, the cheetah collapses. He cannot keep up his top speed for more than a minute. If he fails after then, the race is over. He has been taking 150 breaths per minute and his body temperature has reached over 40 degrees. He may need half an hour to recover before he's ready to hunt again. The Thompson's gazelle has won another race of life. Cheetahs hunt by sight. They have a wide angle field of view and extremely sharp vision. Even the cheetah's stunning eyeliner has a purpose. His black tear marks prevent reflected sunlight from getting into his eyes. The male is ready to try the hunt again. Camouflage allows him to get close to his prey. It's another Thompson's gazelle. He needs to get within 30 meters of the gazelle. Then he's off. The cheetah has an oversized heart and lungs, so he can effectively get oxygen into those high-powered muscles. Even his nostrils are bigger, so he can suck in more air. His flexible spine acts like a spring, adding energy with every bound. His long tail is a rudder, so he can make sharp turns in the chase. The odds for the gazelle are not good. The cheetah has a 50-50 chance of victory. A firm bite on the neck suffocates the victim. The cheetah gets a meal. He lives to race another day. These cubs stand a high chance of being taken by bigger cats, like leopards and lions. The chance of these cubs making it to adulthood is around 50-50, but in some places, it's even worse. In the densely populated Serengeti, only one in 10 cubs will survive to become adults. These young cheetahs have a lot to learn. The mother will remain with them to teach them everything she knows. The father takes no part in the child rearing. Neither animal seems to know what to do. Both must learn their race of life if they are to survive. But the cubs soon work it out. It's bad news for the young gazelle. After 18 months, the female leaves her cubs. Now it's up to them to run their own high-speed race of life. After the cheetah, the top three runners on the planet all belong to the same group. They have long legs, permanent horns, and highly tuned senses. And many, and many have an incredible ability to jump. The antelope, one of the most successful herbivores on Earth. There are 91 different species, and they are very different.
antelopes range in size from over two tons to a delicate 1.5 kilos. One antelope lives in America, a few in Asia, but most live in Africa. The Serengeti Plains of East Africa are home to a colorful collection of antelope. The strangest looking of them all has the shaggy beard of a goat, the stripes of a zebra, and the build of a large cow. The wildebeest. She roams in massive herds for protection, but when attacked, she can sprint at over 60 kilometers an hour. But sometimes, all these companions can be a disadvantage. A herd this size will quickly graze away all the available grass. They need to keep eating, so they must face a dangerous migration in search of more food, which is excellent news for the Nile crocodile. Our female is anxious, but she knows safety in numbers is the key to getting across alive. Time to take the plunge. The wildebeest knows that the more time she spends in the water, the greater the chance of being caught. Her luck runs out. The croc tries to drag her under so she will drown. This race of life is about strength and determination. She's done it, an incredible escape. But she must cross this river twice a year. If she's strong enough, fast enough, smart enough, she will win this race of life many more times to come. Meet the fussy eater of the plains, the topi. These gazelles have developed a long muzzle and sensitive lips to forage among the long grass for young new shoots. But there's a huge advantage to this picky eating habit. This topi gets so much water from his food, he does not need to drink. In a country where drought is common, he wins this race of life by not needing rivers and water holes to survive. And when he needs to run, he can really run. Toppies can flee from predators at 70 kilometers an hour. The movie star of the antelopes has played a leading role in almost every African wildlife film. He's handsome, sometimes the victim, and always the athlete. The Thompson's gazelle. They prefer to eat short grass, so they follow the large herbivores who remove the longer grass. They are born ready to run. But these graceful animals are the preferred prey of the cheetah. The cheetah can outrun the gazelle, so the situation looks hopeless for the prey. But the Tommy has a clever bag of escape tricks. Thompson's gazelles can turn faster than a cheetah. They can leap higher, and they can run for longer. Despite his delicate appearance, the Thompson's gazelle has an even chance of winning this race of life. The second fastest animal on four legs is the last of his kind pronghorns. These beautiful herds were nearly wiped out when humans arrived in North America. They're not technically antelopes, as they have a different horn structure, but they fill the same ecological niche. And they can really run. These impressive animals can reach speeds over 80 kilometers an hour. And they're exceptional at endurance. The herd must migrate 500 kilometers every year to survive. Pronghorns are well equipped for running. They have a large windpipe, heart, and lungs. And they can outrun all the American predators, wolves, bobcats, and cougars. This is the supreme survivor of the American race of life. In the world of speed, only one animal comes close to the cheetah. He's been running the race of life on the African plains for 20 million years. And he's only got two legs.
the ostrich. The world's biggest bird is not able to fly, but he can run like the wind. He might not look streamlined, but he's built for speed. Most birds have four toes. The ostrich has two. Their feet have almost transformed into hooves. A hunter has caught the ostrich scent, a lioness. The only chance for the lioness to catch this male is ambush. But the ostrich has excellent eyesight and hearing. With that long neck, his head can be nearly three meters off the ground, a great lookout point. The lioness has so far not been spotted. She moves in closer. The ostrich senses something, a rustle in the grass. He sounds the alarm. The lioness breaks cover. Time for the ostrich to get moving. You have to be good to catch an ostrich. Too slow. The flock can get up to 90 kilometers an hour in seconds. The lioness is left with nothing to eat but dust. But even if she had caught this giant bird, she would have still had to fight hard. Those big, strong legs pack a powerful punch, and it would have been an excellent meal. Ostriches weigh over 100 kilos. Sustaining a body like this takes a lot of food. Ostriches eat fruit, seeds, and grass but they will often take a grasshopper or other insect for some extra protein. The ostrich is the extreme of bird evolution. He may not be able to fly, but of all the birds, he runs the fastest race of life. Our next high-octane animal couldn't be more of a contrast to the others. He's only 20 millimeters long, he hides underground, and he has eight legs. Those legs are pretty good for running. But when this little creature wants to pack on the speed, he does something very surprising. The golden wheel spider is the only creature in the world that actually turns itself into a wheel to get out of trouble. Golden wheels live among the hot sand dunes of Namibia in Africa. They do not build webs, so the only option is to go out hunting. This one is on the lookout for juicy insects but it will be a challenging day. A pompolid wasp is looking for somewhere to lay her eggs. But not just anywhere. Somewhere safe from predators and close to a generous supply of food. The golden wheel spider. The wasp is trying to lay her egg inside the spider. If successful, she will bury the living spider and her larva will hatch inside and eat the spider alive. But first, she must sting the spider. And the spider is not about to cooperate. He needs to get away, fast. The golden wheel tucks his legs into a wheel shape, and off he goes. 
He's speeding down the dune at a meter a second. His body is spinning at 20 times a second. It's a dizzying experience. But the wasp is left behind. She must find another victim for her living nursery. And the spider has escaped a gruesome death. Golden wheel spiders do have a venomous bite, but it is not harmful to humans. Their main defense is to hide in a deep burrow far from predatory wasps. The burrow might be 50 centimeters deep, so this spider has to shift a lot of sand. He will end up moving 80,000 times his body weight in order to build a safe home. The first stage of the dig is the most dangerous. The spider is too exposed. Here comes another pompolid wasp. Too slow. The spider is off again. This little drama plays out hundreds of times a day in the Namibian desert. Sometimes the wasp wins and has a chance to give life to her offspring. But today the golden wheel spider has won again. He completes his silk lined burrow and retreats to safety. This tiny marvel of the sand dunes will emerge again at nightfall to continue his high-speed race of life. The desert is home to another gold medal runner of the animal world, the Australian desert. This creature is custom created to survive the incredible heat of the red center and to cover its vast distances. The red kangaroo. Big reds are the kings of the outback world. A large male can be 1.8 meters tall. And he has a unique way of covering a lot of ground quickly. These animals are perfectly engineered running machines. Half their body weight is muscle. And most of it is around the pelvis area to power those enormous hind legs. Our kangaroo's bound is almost effortless. He is using less energy to breathe now than when he was standing still. He doesn't accelerate by bounding faster. He just increases the length of his leap. Amazingly, he can cover up to eight meters in a single bound. He is running as fast as the desert wind at 70 kilometers an hour. He needs to move fast. The rains have failed and his food supply has dried up. It could be hundreds of kilometers to the next patch of green desert. He's traveling with his mob. 80% of these roos might be killed by the drought. Finally, food and water. But other animals are also after a meal. A single dingo won't attack a full-grown red kangaroo, but a hungry pack will give it a go. As the kangaroo speeds up, so do the dingoes. But the wild dogs have to move their legs faster and faster to keep up. The roo is cruising. He can keep this up for as long as it takes. The dogs quickly tire. The roo lives to leap again. Young kangaroos are more vulnerable, and danger is never far away. A wedge-tailed eagle is also hungry. 10% of the eagle's diet is kangaroo. She's very good at catching them. 
Out here, you have to learn to move fast at an early age. He may survive to have his own mob and pass on his genes. The kangaroo win again. The red kangaroo must run and run, but he is a spectacular winner in the race of life. At the top of the athletic table, the race of life is truly breathtaking. Animals faster than cars. More maneuverable than a gymnast. And with more clever moves than a dancer. These are the supreme athletes, perfectly evolved to win their race of life by running like a wind. <laughs>